yesterday I refuse for my ears to be cold because yesterday I had such a bad headache. Uh, we're just leaving now. We're going to make our way down to the old town and then we're going to go to the vodka museum. Fun times! Hi, baby. So, me being me, made us come to the wrong place. Yeah, it's meant to be a vodka museum, but... Well, apparently there's two vodka museums in Warsaw. No, the one I found was a Polish vodka, and the one you found was non-existent. No, the one I found was <coughs> Russian. But well, where is it? I can't see it. So... So, how much were they? For a passage? Yeah. One's lots of each. <laughs> we love these. They're like the best part of Warsaw. They are so fun. Oh, this is the most we just went through that in front of the cars with these scooters because this boy told me we could do it. We did it. We did it. I'm so scared now. Right, where All are we, we going now? You just have to follow this road and that's it. Alright, cool, let's go. <laughs> oh, where are we? We're on a bridge. Looks like right bang in the middle. If I drop my phone now with my cold hands, it's not going to be nice. We have to get to the end of this road. Let's go. Are you ready? Nice. We're in a place called Praga. Very pretty. Oh, orange. I haven't seen that in years. Um, we're like two minutes away from the vodka museum now. And this has been like the best ride. Although it's more expensive than an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll tell you guys how much it cost us in the end and how many minutes it was. So, we finally got to the museum after going around and around. That's our route. We went, all, we went from here, Old Town, all the way across. Do, 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 do. No, we went yeah. around this twice, yeah? Uh, so it was 61's Lottie, which makes like £12. So it was like £6 per person. Yeah, it was more Uber expensive was, than an Uber. Uber would have cost us, I think. Like £3? Four pounds? Five pounds. But um, at the end of the day, it was a much more fun way of doing it. A little bit of adrenaline, but it is cold. Hello. We just bought our tickets, but our tour starts in half an hour. Um, and apparently within the tour, we get four shots of vodka. Four shots of premium vodka. Premium vodka. And, and a diploma to say that you've completed the, I don't know, vodka tasting something we don't know but we're doing it and it was 55 zloty per person normally it's 40 zloty so if you want just to uh, have the tour and they give you three shots it's 40 zloty which is 10 how much is it yeah like like eight, pounds. eight pounds so we paid like 10 pound per person for the full thing yeah and you get the problem as well Kind of cool. Yep, so so far it's cost us like 30 pounds to get here, but that's only because we've obviously gone a bit OTT and rinsed out the scooters. But yeah, hey sweetie, it's a very cute place. This is the ultimate difference between his and hers. So for one coffee and one uh, vodka, we paid 23 zloty. How £4.60, £4.30. I think that's pretty decent. I feel like that's a coffee price in London. <laughs> yeah. I've definitely paid like £4. In a place like this, you're definitely going to pay... It's very pretty, guys. Oh, then let's go to the vodka museum. Our tour should be starting. Yeah, vodka was used as a medicine in ball. That's why I use it. <laughs> Don't lie. It's really pretty in here. They've done it really well. It's very educational as well. This is so cool. What are you doing reading a book? <laughs> To make our own vodka. What did you put in it? These. Put strawberries. These. 
gold. Strawberries. No, wild strawberries. And some. First, right, what is my bag of leaves? I sent a lot of this. Right, I'm going to I'm going to pay you in vodka, but because that's what they used to do back in the day, eh? I don't mind. Would you like your um, bosses to pay you in vodka? <laughs> These are like the old prices of like a pub back in the day. So how will this process in this apparatus? So when the fermented mash starts to boil in the spray stand... This floor is made out of old vodka barrels. And apparently it used to smell of vodka before, but obviously it doesn't anymore. Are you having fun? I want to taste. So first, I invite you to the table. A song, a Puga drinks to Jacob, a song from 18th century. But also today we know this song. Uh, we can listen to a part of this song. Oh my god! <laughs> How drunk are you, Ben? <laughs> Where are you? I've never been like this. I've never been like this either. Hi, babe. But this is mad. I can't make anything out. With three, maybe four glasses, and they are filled with three or four different types of vodka. We're going to start with a slaya, then we're going to chew potato vodka with soda, then ending our basic taste with Viborova made from rye, extending it with another rye vodka, but about her I will talk a little bit later. For, uh, for a lot of people, especially when you compare Ostoya, for example, to the third one, the, the first to the third one, in our museum, I proud to admit that you can still find pure potato spirit with soda. And also, as I said, for me, this vodka brings me the most heated experience and sensations of my vodka. Of course, if you think, uh, want to hear something about the Vodka Expedition, of course, you are in. Vodka connoisseurs out here. What do you know? We've got certificates. We're just going to get a personalized bottle of vodka um, to keep as Ibo's future plans are to have a little bar in our house. Um, so it can be like a cute addition to it. Oh, uh, admit alcohol has never hit me so quickly in my life um, but then again I never drink shots and my alcohol I am a heavyweight 
But my, um, yeah, I don't do shots. I don't even know what I'm saying. And guess what? We're headed to the rooftop cocktail bar to continue. You're right there, vodka connoisseur. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> Let Ibo take it first because I don't know. <laughs> nice, not nice. You like it? Okay. Fruit, one shot of beef fruit, no. you wanna try? No, I want one shot of this. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. This don't taste like alcohol. My mouth is not big enough for that. I'm telling you, that does not taste like alcohol. What's the percentage of alcohol? Uh, I know, here is. I'm gonna take a sip and then you can have it. Why? That's yours. Okay. I, was, I wanted to try. Can I just try that? You know me, I don't take big sips. Oh, that's very watermelony. Obviously. Oh, not even watermelon. That's covered. That's like melon. Oh, really? Oh. Try some. No. Hi, boo boo. <laughs> so we've left the museum. I personally recommend it. It was nice, but at the same time, it wasn't something. It wasn't <laughs> as thing as I expected. I thought you'd see more of it done, rather than kind of just see pictures and stuff. True. But, but it was it was good, but I guess it's because it's no longer a factory. It's like an old distillery that they've now turned into a museum. Yes. But it was nice. very knowledgeable. <laughs> um, and for £10 per person, not that bad. So the weirdest thing just happened. This guy stopped us. Was like, oh, I'm a YouTuber, blah, 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 blah. And then started preaching Jesus to us and whatever. Anyway, at the end of this like 30 minute conversation Was it 30 minutes? I think it was bare long Probably. But that might be the alcohol in my system that's telling me it's bare long But anyway So, we walked off, turned around and my man disappeared We didn't even walk off, we took like literally 10-15 steps Like I'm not even joking, I'm not even joking Like, he legit disappeared This is scary Not really, he probably just anyway. Do you reckon he's done it on purpose? No man what is he going to do? Oh, they're going to look back and let me disappear real quick so it's more <laughs> believable. Man preached Jesus for a bit long so, and we were like... So thank you, Uncle. I'm just going to go have a shot of vodka now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> How much was this? £11. For a whole box meal with like five wings. He has a loader meal which has like two burgers and wings and then some cheeseburgers as well. And our drinks. Pretty cheap. And as I do on every holiday, I found a Sephora. Are you happy? Very. <laughs> Rude. Mm, it was like my personal uh, conversion machine right now. What's 39's Lottie in pounds? Seven pounds, two I want them. What I are want, you doing? I want them all. I want all of that range. <gasps> when is this going to stop? When I have no space left and then I'm going to wipe my hands and continue. I love like this one, especially, I oh, know this one, this one, this one. This You're one. just literally contaminating all of them, you know that? Oh no, look at that. But I think I'm going to get this. Because the consistency. Okay. I agree, just get it and go. Or do I get that one? Okay, get that one. No, they're not the same. We can't decide. Me and Hannah are wanting the whole of Sephora. And these two <laughs> were just spraying loads of perfume in there and giving us a headache. Was you not? Huh? Was you not spraying perfume and giving us a headache? Yes. No good, bro. You actually don't smell good, don't even lie. Yeah, that's because I feel like it's getting colder by the minute. Yeah. And guess what? I need some vodka. Oh, I've never, I never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> I never drink vodka normally, guys. But, you know, now's the time because it's blitz. Potential like, disruption due to snow and ice, apparently. Hey, we want to go crackle tomorrow. I'm convinced. 
it's just getting colder and colder. But look how pretty it is. Wow. So pretty. <laughs> you are so cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's cold actually. Oh my god, it's like minus two degrees now. What are you man saying? It's cold. It's very cold. We're going to go to a place called Jeff's, an American diner. I'm sure we'll get American dessert there. Amer no, no, American dessert, yeah? Drunken dessert. That's exactly the plan right now. So, yeah, we'll catch you guys there. We are at Jeff's diner. This is a bit like TGI's, like it's quite cool here. Thank you.